Hi, I'm Sam Paisley, author of Unfair Fight. In this video, I'm going to share with you the three foundations that differentiate successful people, successful entrepreneurs in particular, from the 96% who ultimately go broke. These are the foundations that lead to sustainable success, not just flash and pan wins. Now look, I'm excited that you're here, and I know that part of the reason you're watching this is that you want more in life. You want to be more, you want to do more, you want to have more, and that spark that desire, that's what's going to get you to where you want to go. That's what's going to differentiate you. So the fact you're watching this, the fact that you've got that spark means that I know that what I'm going to share with you today is going to work for you. I've got a fundamental belief that anything's possible. So while I may not yet know you personally, I know that this can be the beginning of something that creates some really outstanding success for you. You know, I don't know the details of your life, I don't know the, the, the particulars of it, but I know that this framework that I'm going to share with you can be applied into anything to guarantee success, and you'll see why. I believe that success lies at the intersection of mindset and action. And what I'm really looking forward to sharing with you are the steps that you can take in anything to get into that sweet spot. That sweet spot where success becomes inevitable, not just something you look forward to. And I think that one thing I'd like to mention, I think, is that success is so personal. You know, what is success for me is going to be completely different from what success means to you. And what I want you to do when you're watching this video is, is don't think about what are the particulars that I, I created in my life, what success, what was success mean for Sam. This is about what success means for you and what the framework is that you can apply. That's the important part. You know, as I've said, if you're watching this, I'm sure you want more in life. You want to be more, you want to do more, you want to have more. You're probably a, you could be a business owner, you might work in a business, and that's likely to be a small to medium sized business because 97% I mean, of the businesses in our country have 19 or fewer staff, so they are the backbone of the country. And I'm sure that nothing has been handed to you in your life, that you've had to work for what you've got. You know, because of that, you might feel like the underdog. But what I'd encourage you, and what we're going to go through in this video, is that you must never let your small business or the small conditions of your life make you small-minded. You know, you need to dream as big as you want to dream. And then I'm going to give you a framework to make it real, because anything is possible. You know, in life, you're always competing against someone bigger, aren't you? You know, in business, it's a, it's a corporate, um, more senior people, people with more money, more experience, more resources. And that can make you feel like the underdog. And I know in that situation that you can try a lot of different things. I know I certainly did. You know, I really immersed myself in education and, and, and experience to try and learn how I actually had to differentiate myself. You know, you can feel like there's never enough time. And, and I'm sure that probably at this point you're thinking, I'm not 100% sure what it is I need to do to take that next step to create consistent success in my life. You know, and I understand that because most resources out there, particularly most business resources, are so complicated. You know, the business resources are based on the Fortune 500 companies, and, and the lessons in those aren't that relevant to the small to medium-sized business owners that we, that we are, or people that work in those businesses. Um, I often find in those resources that you, you read a book and you get to the end, and you'll find it so complicated that you just don't really know exactly what it said. So what I figured out I had to do is I had to create a framework. I had to create simple frameworks, because that's how I think. You know, I, I feel like if something's too complicated, then it's really very difficult to actually apply in your life consistently. So I've created a, a, a simple framework to lead to sustainable, consistent success, and that's what I'm going to share with you. You know, initially I did it just for myself, so that I could take everything I've learned, take the lessons in my life, and apply it consistently to achieve the results I wanted to achieve. And then I wanted to share it with my team, my family, my friends, and now it's what I'm sharing with you. And it's what I cover in my book, Unfair Fight. Because I've created these frameworks, you know, as a direct result of these frameworks, I've been really fortunate in my business. You know, I've created a great business. Me and Recruit um, featured in the Deloitte Fast 50 for four consecutive years. We started in, as the fastest growing service business in the country. You know, we've achieved really high levels of success. I've been named the Ernst and Young, Young Entrepreneur of the Year. And you know, we've been really blessed. And it's because of the framework that I'm gonna share with you. Because we can do things consistently where other people can't. But let me tell you, I wasn't always successful in my life, that's for sure. Prior to 2002, I was living my life in a way that wasn't good for me, and it certainly wasn't good for other people. You know, I was living a really destructive life. 
And on a night out drinking on June 20, 2002, I decided it would be a good idea to do a backflip off a two meter high wall outside of a pub. Now, that seems like a stupid thing to do, and it is. The, the, the stupidest thing about that, well not the stupid, there's a lot of stupid things about that, but one of the stupidest things is there wasn't anyone watching, it was myself doing it for my own personal amusement. Anyway, the stupidity is, is all encompassing, really, in, in that. No, don't try and do a backflip two meter high wall. Didn't go well for me. I landed on my head, and I went into a coma. Now, I think in our lives, we're gonna have good days, and we're gonna have bad days. And one thing I know for certain is that we're not gonna know which is which at the time. You know, at the time when my parents got a call at 2.30 in the morning saying, you better get to the needle, we don't know if your son's gonna come out of the coma, they'd have said it was a bad day. You know, when I came out of the coma, and then a few days later, the doctors were talking to me, and they said, you're unlikely to regain full brain function, you know, you probably won't return to medical school and you'll certainly never ski again. I'd have called it a bad day. But I think in life we get lessons. I know we get lessons, but I, I think they come in three different ways. The first lesson is the feather. It's that wee tickle, that wee niggle that says to you, look, something's not quite right, something needs to change. Now, if you, if you ignore the feather, you know, it just tickles away. It's easy to ignore, you get the brick. The brick comes through, knocks you upside the head. It's a lot less subtle. Now, I had a lot of bricks but I was a bit of a slow learner. So I had to wait for the third lesson, which is the Big Mac truck. The Big Mac truck comes through, knocks you off your feet and says change is a must. Now the thing about the Big Mac truck lessons, are uh, they can kill you. You know, either literally, or if you're in business, they can put you out of business. Um, you know, they're the ones that come through and say, you've got to change in your life. And it's not, it's not optional, it's now a must. Head injury for me was that lesson. Now you don't have to wait for the Big Mac truck and I think by sharing this framework, by sharing some of the lessons and experiences I've had, I can help you avoid the Big Mac truck and just listen to the feathers. But the key with the head injury, the thing about the head injury was that it taught me that for my life to change, first I had to change. It taught me to raise the standards of my life and it taught me three distinctions which I think are the foundation of all sustainable success and they are what I'm gonna share with you. All of the good things, everything good in my life has come since making those distinctions. From, you know, I got back to medical school within three months, the doctors didn't think I'd get back. I then regained full brain function. Six months later, do the math on that one, got snuck back through the net into medical school before I got my brain back in order. Um, something that I wasn't expecting, but was one of the biggest blessings of my life was meeting my, my then, my, my future wife Claire. Um, six months later, the following year after the head injury, I became I, the New Zealand Extreme Ski Champion, and I graduated from medical school. Uh, and then a couple of years later, started med recruit, and we've had all the success with that since. So everything good in my life has come since learning these three lessons, since making these three distinctions. You know, when I started med recruit, we were competing against the monopoly. We were the little guy. Um, there was a company that had a monopoly across Australia and New Zealand. We didn't have a network. You know, we were a recruitment company, but we didn't have hospitals and we didn't have doctors. We didn't, so we didn't have clients or candidates. Not the best, strongest position for a recruitment company to be in. We didn't have an IT platform. I had no experience in business. Prior to that, my experience was, um, you know, I'd worked as a doctor, um, I'd worked as a ski instructor, and I had a pamphlet run and a few, few sort of holiday jobs. So, you know, we, and we also didn't have very much capital at all. So we really were David versus Goliath. It was a David and Goliath showdown. And I knew that because I was in that situation, I had to act differently and I had to think differently. When you're the underdog, I believe that that doesn't mean you're disadvantaged. Political scientist Ivan Aragorn Toft look, did some really interesting research looking at battles waged between two sides where one side was 10 times the size and might of another and he looked at it across the last 200 years and the results he found were absolutely staggering what he found is that you know if, if, if you look at that you'd think that the the the, per, the, the the 10 times i mean 10 times is a huge amount more you'd expect them to win every single time but they didn't what happened is that the big guy only won 71 and a half percent of the time so okay, the little guy has a chance. Here's where it gets really interesting. Where the smaller side used unconventional or guerrilla tactics, they won 63.6% of the time, I should say. 
two thirds of the time, the little guy won against someone 10 times the size. So the underdog actually had the advantage. But here's the crazy thing. The little guy stuck with conventional tactics 75% of the time, three quarters of the time, they went head to head with Goliath. And every single time they went head to head, they got crushed. And I think that's what's happening with people in life. That's what happening with, is what's happening with people in business. They're sticking with the old conventional tactics. They're thinking with, sticking with the status quo, the, the, the conventional ways of thinking, the conventional ways of acting. And they're going head to head and they're getting crushed. They're getting beaten. And so what I'm going to share with you is how you can you know, think a little bit differently, how you can think unconventionally, how you can act unconventionally, so that even though while you might be the underdog, you become the favorite. You know, with MedRecruit, I realized that I needed different tactics. I had to act differently. If I went head to head with the Monopoly, I would have lost, guaranteed. If I went head to head, I would have been crushed. So I immersed myself in education. I studied with the masters. Guys like, people like Tony Robbins. Um, I, Tony Robbins, I've learned psychology and mindset from. I've been blessed to be able to go to his, his seminars and get to know him personally. Keith Cunningham. Keith Cunningham is Robert Kiyosaki's rich dad and rich dad, poor dad. And I've been so blessed to be able to actually study with him and learn business from him. Get to know him personally now as a friend. I go and see him in Texas regularly. Richie McCaw, all black captain who won the World Cup. I got to discuss winning and winning psychology with him. You know, and, and I've studied nutrition, health and fitness with Dr. Libby. And you know, she's a personal friend now too, so I've been so blessed to be able to actually immerse myself in education, which has helped me to think differently and therefore act differently. And by doing that, we became the market leader. We went up against the monopoly and we became the leader. And the company with the monopoly didn't know what had happened. You know, the great thing is, they, they didn't know what we were doing, and so they tried harder, they entrenched more, and that just fell into the trap that we'd set, and, we became, and, and it helped us to grow more and become even more of a leader. And I don't even mind sharing this in this video, and I don't mind if they watch it too, because there's often a psychology and a mindset with the big guy that's, you know, we can do things our own way, we'll, and we just keep doing them that way, and we'll be successful. And that's why businesses go out of business, ultimately. This is covered in detail in my book, Unfair Fight. As I said, business success, all success, lies at the intersection of mindset and action. When you can take, when you can hone your mindset, create a powerful success psychology, and take deliberate focused actions, you aren't the underdog anymore. Even if you're the little guy, you actually become the favorite, and like David, success becomes inevitable. David could not have lost against Goliath. He was artillery going up against the lumbering giant. Goliath couldn't defend against that. There are tools and strategies available to you that you can use that you know, the competition in business can't defend against. That you can use, you know, that, that life can't defend against. You can become unbelievably successful. We use this in my business. And the results were, are that you know, we're doing about 20 million in revenue. I've had a lot of fun doing that. And we're still growing. I'm still utilizing these tools. While we might be the market leader now, I still apply David-like thinking. I still think like the underdog and apply unconventional tactics. And at the time of shooting this video, we've increased sales 67% uh, in the last couple of months. Now, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of fun. And so I'm having a lot of fun with business. I have a lot of fun continuing to hone and apply these tools. So as I said, you're going to have good days in your life and you're going to have bad days. Turned out for me that head injury was a very good day of my life. It made me realize that at the end of our lives, we're going to ask ourselves three questions. Did I live with purpose? Did I live with passion? And did I live with presence? These are the three foundations of sustainable success. And these are the three things that ultimately lead to any level of fulfillment. Did I live with purpose? This is where the depth of life comes from. You know, did I find my reason to matter? Did I find the reason that I'm going to contribute in the world? The world nourishes what gives back to the world. The world very quickly figures out if you're a fraud, if you're just in it for yourself, and it will stop nourishing you. 
So the foundation, the foundation um, of all success is finding that purpose, finding that reason that you're going to contribute to the world, the reason that you're going to matter. You know, a lot of people get into business for all sorts of different reasons. And, and a lot of people do it for, to create financial freedom. But if that's your driving reason, if that's the number one reason, then it makes success very, very difficult. Because I believe that, that financial success is just an outcome of providing unbelievable amounts of value. When you provide the value, when you find your purpose, the financial success will follow. So I live with passion. You know, this is where the joy of life comes from. Passion is where you find that intersection of, of enthusiasm and love. You find that thing that makes your heart sing. And then you go into each day with an enthusiasm that, that just makes you keep going. It makes you persist and it makes you get up. And it makes you do whatever it takes to be successful. You know, when you've got that purpose and that passion, this is when you look at someone and you go, wow, I don't know what it is that they've got, but I want what they've got. This is it. You know, this is, they, they know why they're there, they know what their purpose is, and they, they bring a level of passion and intensity that is just unstoppable. And did I live with presence? The moment is all we've got. This is living life. This is living life itself. There is no future. There is no past. There's only this moment. And what we, I've realized as an entrepreneur, I spent a lot of time looking into the future, you know, planning the future, and then I started to move out of the present and what I found is that my joy dropped off and my effectiveness dropped off too because I wasn't bringing everything to the moment the moment is all we can actually influence right now and that and because it was a struggle for me I had to learn some simple tools some simple ways to get present to get in the moment because when you bring everything into the moment you're like a steam train you're unstoppable when you sort of split between what happened in the past and what's going to happen in the future you kind of a a half self you're not bringing everything you know living with presence is living in the now it's bringing everything you have to this moment and that's when you become unbelievably successful when you combine the three things purpose passion and presence not only do you lead a fulfilled life but you have the foundations for creating sustainable success not just one-off wins success on a consistent basis in anything you want there are some other things you need to apply and we're going to cover this in a video series but just know that the start is find what it is that makes you know that means you matter. Find that thing that makes your heart sing, and then bring everything to the moment. Now, these three things are all learnable, and they're not actually that complicated. There are tools and strategies and technologies you can apply very simply in your life. As I said, you know I like things simple, so there are things you can apply to 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 hone these in your life. And I'm going to share these with you in a video series that I'd love for you to be part of. These are the foundation of everything. It all starts with this. One thing I know that all successful people, I've studied a lot and I, of, of successful people and I talk to a lot. If you ask them, did you live with purpose? Do you live with passion? Do you live with presence? They would all answer yes. The really successful people do. You think about the people that you, you your role models. Think about the people that you look up to, that you aspire to. You know, the Nelson Mandela, um, Mother Teresa, Richard Branson, um, whoever it is that you aspire to, Tony Robbins. You know, they'll be able to answer yes to all of these questions. This is what being a great role model is all about. So if you want to be a great role model, you know, within your world, within, you know, for your staff, for your family, for your children, then find your purpose, find your passion, and then bring your presence to it. And I'm really looking forward to sharing with you exactly how to do this, because it's not that hard. This is learnable. I'm going to address each of these in a video series that I want to share with you. All you need to do is, on this page, somewhere around here, there's going to be a, a, a place for you to put your name and email address. Please, put that in. I'm going to send you a video about each of these because you can learn these. And then when you apply these to your life, anything's possible. You know, the fact that you've watched this far means that you know there's a better way. You might have tried a lot of things. You might have tried a lot of things that haven't worked. You've probably tried some that have. But let me tell you, I know that this is going to be the difference. Because this is what made the, all the difference in my life. You know, this is what's going to get you into that sweet spot with, with, between mindset and action where success becomes inevitable. Where you can create any level of success in anything you want. And, and I'm really not saying that to, to blow it out of proportion. It's just, it's just true. You know, success isn't easy. Particularly business success isn't easy. But it's also not complicated and it doesn't have to be complicated. There is no magic bullet. 
There's no get rich quick scheme. There's nothing that you can say, um, work out for three minutes a day and get washboard abs. It doesn't happen. You actually have to do the work. But there is the hard learn as you go away, and there's the better fast track where you can learn from others. As I said, success lies at the intersection of mindset and action. My purpose, a big part of my purpose, is to, is to demonstrate this in my life and how I live, and to give people, to give you tools so you can maximize both, so that you can operate at your best. I tell you what, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty passionate about it too. I want you to get this. I want you to get this because it's a simple thing, but don't think because it's simple it doesn't work. It's a simple foundation that will lead to so much success in your life. It's led to a lot of success in my life. You know, it's the reason we've been successful in business. Um, it's made me a lot of money. And you know, it's brought me a lot, you know, not just a lot of success, but, but the joy and the peace that comes with living this way because you're living on purpose. You know, you're living in a way that you really enjoy. And now it's something I want to contribute to you. It's something I want to contribute back to the business community. So look, if you'd like to know more, if you found this video useful, if you believe, as I do, that purpose, passion, and presence are the foundation to all success, then please register for the success video series where I'll send you a video, one each on purpose, one on passion, one on presence, and the concrete steps that you can take, these are learnable, so that you can develop these and grow the foundation so you can build the success you want in your life. When you register, I'm also gonna send you a way for you to buy my book, Unfair Fight, and I think that would be a, uh, a wise thing to do if you're a business owner. At the end of our life, heck, at the end of this year, how are you gonna ask, answer the three questions? Do I live with purpose? Do I live with passion? And do I live with presence? I would love for your answer to be yes. And your answer can be yes, it's not that complicated. It's just gonna take some deliberate focused action on your part. One of those actions is going to be sign up on this page, you know, give your name and email address, and I'll send you these videos. And let's begin this journey together. Let's start that process to get you into the sweet spot between mindset and action, because when you do that, anything really is possible. You know, when you live with purpose, passion, and presence, the world is your oyster. Whatever level of success you want to create is a possibility. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you and, and to spending time with you to get you into that sweet spot. Thanks a lot, I'm Sam Hazeldine.